A husband gets most of his gavora, his strength, from the wife. So Correct. You but could actually when you have give him a crazy ex-wife who's involved. Right. I hear. I hear. And con- and I'm just even though you, it's all Hashem controlling everything, and you, it's her in that too, it makes it more challenging. I get it. But you have Mount Everest. And do you know, I mean, it's, it, the, the challenge is Mount Everest. People scale Mount Everest. They get to the top. They do. They get there. They have to research very, very carefully. What backpack do I need? What shoes? What sunscreen do I use? They research. They figure it out. They get the right ropes. They get the right picks and axes and what? I've never climbed Mount Everest, so no, I'm not saying this from experience. I'm just guessing. You know, they do their homework because their life depends on it. Well, lady, your life depends on doing the homework of what you need to do to make this marriage work. Second marriages are much more challenging. They have a much higher divorce rate. Why? Because of issues just like this. It's usually kids, stepchildren, exes, financial. There's a lot of issues that go into this. You are a smart lady. You are a strong lady. I've had a good conversation with you, and I'm sure everybody who's wa- who's watching this and hearing this no- can tell you have a lot of strength. I am telling you, use your strength and your your brain to figure out what actions you can take to make this better because you can. I'm telling you that from the inside out, there are things you can do to improve your husband's behavior with his children and to make him more loyal to you. So let me go through, we only got a few of them, uh, through a few of them. I want to give you some, a lot more tools.